All right, now I'm really... We're, we're basically ready for a war now, France, so bring it. Non-aggression, well, there's still legation cities, yeah. Not my concern. What's the Entente doing in all this? Like, Canada. Fortify the Great Lakes, because clearly that is really important. And we have got whatever it was that I was researching. Ah, 50%. I can finally get the war bonds, which means I get rid of Black Monday at last. And then I can get the Swiss Miracle, which is the other research slot. That sounds like a good plan to me. Promotion of the Swiss franc has been boosting our economy, but the government is still heavily in debt. We must turn to the people in order to support the government in the face of war. Do it. We're exactly at 50%. Damn it! Alright, how much have you got? 8% with the socialist, uh, syndicalists. There we go. Although that's just weakening my or it's increasing the strength of all the others as well. It's fine. So long as I stay above 60%, it's, it's okay. Official languages. Enough political capital has been raised to institute an official referendum today on the important topic of the Swiss people. The issue of whether or not to include Romance as the national language of Switzerland is what is to be decided. If voted in, the predominantly Swiss language would join the likes of French, German and Italian among Switzerland's national languages. Should we support the referendum? I don't really care, but I've been doing everything extensively, so we're just going to double down. And we have high popularity again. Marvellous. I think that's the first time I've seen uh, that I've gone dispersed industry. I've done it once or twice before. Usually I just much prefer the additional output, which um, the other one gives. But I decided I wanted the higher production efficiency because I'm resource low. And more importantly, I was expecting to actually be fighting in Switzerland. So I was kind of expecting to get bombed back to the Dark Ages, which is the main reason I went dispersed. I think I did with Siam as well. Like, I, I very often do when you're going to have very high uh, production caps anyway. To be fair, fortifying the border would be important for Canada with the CSA looking like it's going to win. I'm not sure I agree with that still. I mean, yeah, they've been pushed slightly towards Atlanta. But really, they've only lost that. How's the... Right, the big one's the factory change. So they're sitting at, what, 30... Three civilian, seven military. They have a lot less civilian, but way more military. And more divisions in the field. And more manpower. Don't count the AOS out yet. If they ever lose Texas, then yes, but right now they haven't. Uh, okay, so we can get the production efficiency cap increase. Let's do that. And I totally forgot to retrain you guys. And I can stop you training, and then once these guys are retrained, then we can add these two to that. And then hopefully still have some army experience. Although this actually is where we could take the German training for the army experience, then we can just do whatever reforms that we need. Just straight up. Although, how are we doing for artillery? Yeah, we're probably almost at the stage where we could go and increase the artillery uh, company again. I was saying battalions earlier. Is it a company or is it a battalion? That's a company. That's a battalion. Yeah, that's what it was. Support company, support battalions. Combat company, combat battalion. Division. Terminal no, terminal no, 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 no. Terminology is important to you. Also, I could really be doing with getting some more political power so that I can finally get out of civilian economy. Because that's been kind of hamstringing me for a while. Yeah, I need to save up and try and get that as quickly as possible. So, once I've sold... Uh, no, because there's some important ones coming up. Swiss Miracle for a start. So I think we can do War Bond, Swiss Miracle, German Training, or German Tactics... And then I'm just going to focus on economy. Yeah, that seems reasonable. 
Has Huey gone corporatist or populist economics? Uh, populist. Which means what? Consumer goods factories reduction, which means their civilian factories will be stronger. It's adding more civilian. Yeah. Okay, so the populist is a stronger base government, which actually compared oh, with, with the number of military factories they have, that's really good because their civilian economy can build itself up quicker and they'll have the ability to buy in any resources they're lacking. Although this is America we're talking about here, so resources probably aren't an issue. Are you trained? You're trained. You guys can be added to you. We have 2,000 guns and a bunch of artillery, so we can probably add another. No, that. Yeah, we can totally do that. And we're up to 30 combat width now. We're getting quite a lot stronger. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're now at the point where... Um, integrated still stronger, but we're on the we're on the border. One more line artillery, and then dispersed is better. And I need to start you training once again, though that is really not going to take very long. Did Poland go communist? Yes. Go down the naval part of the tree and send boats. Well, I can't actually get, I think, any of the naval part until I own a port. They're just blocked. Although I can get the very first one. I'm not sure exactly what it does. Ukraine, civil war. Considering Germany is not going to be uh, blocked by anyone, that's not really a problem. That just gives you naval experience and political power. But then all the others are... Actually, no, they're not. That one's blocked by not having a port. I'm kind of surprised that these aren't. So yes, you can totally start building. Oh no, any own state is coastal. That one is not blocked, but that one is. Thirty percent cheaper trade convoys. That's pretty nice. Call to arms from the Ukraine. Um, sure. But I'm not actually going to go and help you. I have far more important things to be doing. All right, Swiss Miracle. A combination of a strong economic policy, a healthy bank stocked with gold, and a dash of luck have combined to birth an economic boom the likes of which Switzerland has never seen. Dubbed the Swiss Miracle, this spurt of economic growth is exactly what we need to advance our place in the world hierarchy. The end of Swiss neutrality. Despite our best efforts to avoid foreign entanglements and conflicts, Switzerland has found itself embroiled in war. And neutrality, maintained for over a hundred years, has finally been broken as men young and old are called to serve in the country. So we lose even more national unity, but we also lose the Swiss neutrality. Selection of a general. In times of peace, the highest attainable rank in the Swiss military has been that of colonel. Only in times of great need or looming military conflict is a man promoted to the rank of general in order to lead the defence of the nation. Now that we've been thrust into a new war, it is time for us to select a general who will lead the command of our armed forces. So Henry Goussaint becomes a field marshal, or Eugen Bercher does. So Goussaint or Bercher. So basically, do we want to lose our hillfighter or our mountaineer? I'd much rather lose our hillfighter, frankly. So we're going to go with Goussaint. Who becomes a level 4 immediately. Interesting. With 30% entrenchment, we made the right decision. Although I still want this chappy in charge so that he can get more experience. In fact, I could send you off to the Ukraine to get experience. You know what? Got to live a little. Do it. We'll win this war for you. Don't worry. Just don't leave my border unguarded. Thanks, Germany. Never fear, the Swiss commandos are on their way. It'll be over by Christmas, right? 
nod nod. Plus this will mean more experience as well. How can the Ukrainian civil war happen? Uh, I'm not sure. Do the Swiss war economy focus? I will. Wait, which war economy focus? Oh, this one. That is a very good point. Was I already at war when I started that one? I don't think I was. Um, hopefully we won't have won it by then, although I kind of suspect that we will. I'm sure we'll be at war again soon. <laughs> Alright guys, start moving in. Alright, so the Commune of France is now justifying on me. Fantastic. Oh dear. This could only go well, right? Right? Oh, Austria actually got the Danubian Federation. They seem to do that quite frequently. So we need to finish this war as quickly as possible. Rhodesia is gone. Alright, we got that. Good. I'm suspecting that we'll win this war very, very quickly, though. I mean, they're halfway towards capitulation already. This justification, how long is it going to take? Like, am I going to have time to get back and entrench? All right, they're demanding alsace lorraine which is, I think, a 70-day? Yes. So we have basically 70 days to win this, get back, and re-entrench. I think we can do it. Especially if we take their big cities. Which we are doing with a plume. Then again, their capital is not falling very quickly. <laughs> cool China in. Okay, fair enough. Alright, and then the final battle will be up there. Uh, how are we doing? We gained a tiny bit of experience. You gained actually a fair amount. Alright, that's good. And we have enough army experience to upgrade my units again. Uh, how are we doing for artillery? Not great. So I think this is just going to be mountaineers. And we could theoretically afford both. It's going to leave us with a slight deficit, but I'm going to do it. And if it means I have to train behind my actual lines, then so be it. Just take them out quickly so we can get back to Switzerland. Quickly. Quickly. There we go. Right, that should end that. That has ended it. What I really didn't want was for them to join uh, the actual French war. That was my main fear. So let's get you guys back to my front line. And back to taking Orléans. And then training. Oh, shit. I will accept that. You want to call me into another war? Um fine. This is annoying because it's going to distract the Germans. More importantly, it's going to distract the German Navy. Japan, you could not have timed that worse. Ah, but people want to send me guns. I fully approve of that. Probably because they see that I'm short on military equipment right now. In okay, Mountain Infantry 2. Good, good. That's a much needed improvement. So it is 39, so we can get the Hispano Suiza. Although, I would very much like to get this. So, no, I'm not going to research it just yet. I will, however, research field hospitals. Is Donkovan Union in Middle Europa? I don't think so. Oh, they are. Yes. So, Russia must have threatened them, then they must have turned to Germany. And Germany actually added them to Middle Europa. No, they start Middle Europa. They leave. Because usually Russia threatens war and Germany's like, nope. But I guess Germany was like, uh, no, we'll, we'll actually guard them. And then Russia was like, okay. Uh, 
Well, at least my troops are going to get back onto the front line in time. As that's Lorraine still halfway, so I'm going to cheekily, cheekily have you guys training again. And if I need to pull you back, then I will, if it's looking dangerous and that you won't get trained in time. Although we have enough guns and stuff, so we should be fine. It's just artillery that we're a sh little short on. No, they do not start any middle repair. Okay. Uh, Russia has declared war on Turkestan, which is not a middle repair. No. Well, uh. all right. Radicals are at eight percent. Except all the others are growing at the same time. This is it's myself. That's not really. Yeah. Okay, we're back at sixty-five. That's fine. All right. So we've got the Swiss miracle. There. Oh no, that's overwhelming firepower. I'll take it. Not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. Uh, okay, so tank and armor breakthrough. That's kind of pointless to us. But we have the extra 10% soft attack, which is good. Do 39 engineers increase entrenchment? They all do. But I don't have engineers, so it's irrelevant to me right now. Because I have not got the industrial capacity to do any support equipment. Because I have a grand total of... 8 military factories? Yeah, I think so. For once Mordred finally goes to superior firepower, the best doctrine. I... it... There is no one singular best doctrine. I... No, there isn't. It's entirely contextual depending on what you have. But we do have this, which is the Orkilion Artillery Manufacturer, which is a plus 15% soft attack and plus 10% breakthrough. That is legitimately very, very strong. Also, we have a high command guy, which is the fire support which is another 15% artillery attack and defense, which is very strong. These guys are just very aligned towards artillery. In which case, yeah, fair enough. Artillery is good. Mobile warfare would not have been better. We do have decent medium tanks, but that is pretty much the only advantage they would have. And they're not that good. 25% compared to like 50% advantages which uh, Austria or Germany can get. It's entirely contextual. At least we can all agree that mass assault is terrible. Disagree with you again. If you're playing someone that has really high manpower and really uh, moderately decent industry, then Mass Assault is very, very strong. But you do need to have basically bottomless reserves of manpower because uh, 50... Uh, what are they called? 50 infantry battalions is hardcore with a 40 combat width. It just hits really, 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 really hard. And has an insane number of hit points. It's just very hard to wear down. But then again, if you're up against someone who's using superior firepower with all of its ridiculous soft attack, then yeah, you're going to suffer some, some hurt. But then again, that's why you have unlimited manpower. Right, so I do have the upgraded artillery. I should have been building these already. That was a mistake. Superior firepower is better than mass assault in pretty much all cases. I disagree. If you have very high industry, then maybe. If you have no artillery upgrades but decent infantry upgrades, then no. And if you are Russia, then no. If you have high manpower and decent industry, why not go Grand Battle Plan? You could. I just really like those 50 combat with infantry divisions, because they just hit so hard. You have something like 500 hit points or something absurd like that, and very, very high amounts of organization. Russia has declared war on Mongolia. GG Mongolia. But again, it's contextual. Like, in vanilla, I can't say because combat... Uh, sorry, companies in vanilla are terrible. Like, they miss such a good opportunity. In Kaiserreich, where companies matter a lot to determine, like, your strengths and weaknesses, then different doctrines have different strengths and weaknesses. Like, if you have decent heavy tank doctrine, then Grand Battle Plan's very strong because you can use the really strong, beefy infantry divisions and just steamroller. Like, it, once you get going, it's impossible to stop you because of your high planning preparation. Also, if you're defensive, then Grand Battle Plan is usually good. Although, superior firepower with decent artillery and high defense bonuses can also be good. Italian Federation declared on the Social Republic of Italy. That's not very good. So we could get the German tactics to get some more artillery in our 
forces. Oh, no, no, we want the uh, war economy. For the... Uh, no. I'm actually going to save political power. Because I really want to get the economy ones done. Alright, so we're no longer getting Lend Leases, but that's fine. Coming to France is still doing the justification. That seems to be a very long 70 days, and you can stop doing that. Get your dig in. Get your organization back, most importantly. Wow, French combat strength is really low. And the Entente got in! Yes! Actually, that's very good. Because while our navy is distracted by Japan, this means the Entente is wearing down the Union of Britain and coming in France navies. And that's now going to be a double whammy. It's going to be all of our navies versus theirs. So long as Germany hasn't been a complete imbecile and moved all of their fleets away. Um, yes, I will accept. And Germany is immediately launching a counterattack. You know what? I will assist you with that. Because they have absolutely no defences here. I think we can do quite a lot of damage. Although I will need to be somewhat careful about my manpower. Also, don't be stupid. And you can go down to speed 4. Alright. And if we can get a cutoff behind the uh, French line here, that would be quite nice. So you need to go here, buddy. And get a cutoff there, hopefully. In fact, if we had some German tanks coming through here, we could go straight for uh, Paris. And stability has just increased. Non-aggression with the Canadians, sure. National focus I'm not doing because I'm trying to save political power. That makes sense. Did the war have a custom name? Yes, they did actually give the names, the, the, the war's custom names, I think. The final struggle. At least until the Entente get involved against the Germans. Ooh. Interesting. We need to get rid of that soon. Right, the one thing that we need to be very careful about here is to not overextend. So, so far it's it seems to be going quite well. Alright, the Ottomans are in their war. I have 23% contribution. Go Switzerland! <laughs> but yeah, in the last patch they uh, changed the custom name files. I'm getting factories. What do I want to build more of? Probably artillery? Yeah, because my infantry is at their greatest extent. I don't actually need more infantry equipment at this point. Except to replace losses. So I'm going to go to artillery and also support equipment. So I can start getting engineers. And then after we have those motorized. In fact, I'm going to start on motorized right now. Because I really want to get some field hospitals going. Because my manpower is a cause for concern. That is a lot of troops floating through here. <laughs> awesome. Also, you guys. Um, well, let's have you pushing through here and actually punching through their lines, which are currently unguarded. That would be lovely. This is like a triple whammy for France. First Italy, then the Entente, then us. Yeah, pff, Germany, you moved your navies away. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Now, Germany. Navy. Actually, no, they had like 100 ships. No, that's probably silly. It's fine. Uh, that's a big fight. That is the UOB part of their fleet. At least some of the carriers are here against the Entente. That'll be the French fleet. Don't know where the Canadian fleet will be. This will be the German fleet versus the Japanese fleet, which the German fleet seems to be winning. Yeah, the Germans should win that one. And we did get a cutoff. Excellent. So now the drive towards Paris can begin. Uh, I need to select you lot and go here. I'm also going to say we are not responsible for the southern flank. We're responsible for that push. So get going. Good. 
And then once we have sufficient artillery, we can start adding those to our units. Advanced machine tools, that increases our production cap. And having just rejigged our development, that's pretty good timing. Now we can get the dispersed industry. Actually, kind of late. I thought I had that one already. My bad.